Are you coming, O'Brien? Hey, right, with you, Godmother. Yes, you better get a move on. I want you to help me to carry the messages. Oh, good Godmother. And we, we can get chocolates when we're at the shops. Oh, no, we can't. You eat far too many sweets. But, but, but it's not only for me, Godmother. Uh, 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 judge each eats chocolates too. D -d Don't you judge? Uh -huh. Oh, yes, O'Brien. I love chocolate. That's right, Judge. Back up O'Brien like you always do. He's quite fat enough without eating chocolates. And anyway, they're bad for your teeth. I never knew you to say no to a chocolate if you were offered one, Mr. Crow. But then crows don't have teeth. That's not fair. Besides, I always brush my teeth afterwards. Don't I, O'Brien? Of course you do, Judge. And so do I. Oh, please, please, Godmother, can we get some chocolates? O'Brien, we can't. I barely have enough money to pay for the messages. Oh, can I come for the messages too, Godmother? I'd love a run. I really don't know why you dogs always want to be running around the countryside. I think even walking's a bore. That's because you, you, you can fly. It's not fair. I wish dogs had wings. <laughs> That'll be the day. When dogs and pigs have wings, I'll go into the rookery. <laughs> of course you can come, Judge. But you better get moving or all the shops will be shut before we get the messages. Um, what will you do while we're away, Mr Crow? I think I'll just take 40 winks until tea time. Then I'll be nice and fresh to strike the hour. Right. Just watch the hour doesn't strike you one day for being such a mean old crow. 